uh, how do you break into the software development profession if you don't have a computer science degree, okay? Let's say your ed academia background is in accounting or finance, right? Or you graduated with a journalism degree or a history degree. Is it possible for a student with that educational background to break into the software development career? And the answer is absolutely, okay? Just the number of jobs that are out there uh, is uh, they're exploding okay there's so much demand and not enough supply so in an environment like that it's certainly possible as a matter of fact I'm a personal living example of someone that does not have a computer science degree but was able to acquire those skills after graduation okay I graduated college almost 15 years ago with an accounting degree and with just three months of self-study I got a software development uh, job and back then, uh, there were plenty of jobs, but now, trust me, there are so many more jobs, okay, and so many more opportunities, uh, so many different areas to get into, okay? So I'm going to uh, highlight some of this, uh, these things on the whiteboard and hopefully give you uh, a good understanding of the overall landscape of IT and what you can do to break into the software development career, okay? So let's get started. In my opinion, there are three major areas uh, in IT that you uh, you can focus on okay one of these three it's hard to focus on all three of these areas at the same time uh, but let's start with the first uh, elephant in the room the obvious path and that is a software developer okay let's write that here software dev and hopefully you can see this I know there's a glare on the whiteboard so excuse me I just have some overexposure from the light but the software dev track in my opinion is a challenging track for someone that does not have a computer science degree. Because it requires you to know a couple of different programming languages, maybe one or two, the most popular ones are Java and Python. Another very popular one is PHP. And then uh, a candidate would also need to have some understanding of the overall landscape of technology, understand front end, understand back end. So they would need to know a little bit of HTML, uh, CSS and some JavaScript and maybe a little bit of databases. I'm just going to draw a database here. All right, so the breadth of knowledge for this path is pretty wide. Okay, you'd need to know a lot, a lot of things. So if you would like to get into the software development path, but you're not a computer science major, I would recommend uh, to tr to start on a different path. This could be your eventual destination. This could be your goal. This is what, what happened to me. I started from a different area in technology and then I transitioned w into this area over time. And you could do the same thing. And I've seen so many people. I've got so many examples of people doing this back then as well as right now. Okay. So this is one path, in my opinion. Uh, if you don't have a computer science background, uh, it will take about two years of hard work to learn this stuff on your own and then hopefully be in a position to uh, land a job, okay? The, uh, the coding boot camps are great, uh, but you need to have some prerequisite knowledge in some of these areas if you want to avail uh, that knowledge, okay? Uh, so th this takes time. A better track for someone that doesn't have a computer science degree, in my opinion, is the database track. And I'm gonna write that down here. Database. Because this is a focused area, in technology and data is key data is every company's uh, very it's, it's one of the largest assets every company has very important especially with what's going on nowadays with Facebook data is key it's huge and uh, the databases is where the data is stored so what you could do is become a database expert in uh, a language called SQL SQL okay this language is the primary language used to interact with databases so you just need to learn one language and it's not even a programming language, so to speak. It's actually a data interaction language. Uh, I've got two courses on this, on this topic. So if you take both of those courses, you should be in pretty good shape with the SQL language. Along with the SQL language, you can also learn a reporting tool, such as Tableau. And Tableau nowadays is huge. There are so many job openings with Tableau and data analysis. So with this combination, the SQL and Tableau combination, you're employable. How long does this track take? For someone that can invest six hours a day, every day for about three months, that's, what, that's all that's required. So three months, I'd say give two months for SQL 
and invest six hours a day every day into SQL, master that technology, and then learn maybe for one month, invest in Tableau, and you've got it made. You're employable, okay? Believe it or not, a lot of people are doing this. You don't need a computer science degree for this, okay? Uh, so this, in my opinion, is the uh, lowest barrier of entry into the software developer uh, uh, profession. Eventually, once, you, once you're comfortable here, you can always transition to this field. A lot of people do this, including myself and so many people that I've seen. I've got so many examples. Okay, so this could be your eventual destination if you want to build uh, mobile apps, websites, uh, you know, desktop applications. You can, you can learn to do that on the weekends when you're employed here, okay? Don't graduate college and sit for one year trying to learn this stuff. Get your foot in the door after three months of practice. Get your foot in the door in a, in a database developer role because guess what? You're still a developer. You could be developing reports and using the SQL language and then slowly transition into this, okay? So two paths so far. The third path is the admin path. And this is also a great, uh, you know, lucrative field. But in my opinion, it's for countries like India or, uh, you know, basically any country that is not the United States or Canada. United States and Canada outsource administrator jobs. And the hottest topic within this domain is AWS. Okay, AWS, Amazon Web Services. This is another thing you could choose, okay? This will take maybe a year to get really comfortable with because there's a lot of a new development that's going on in AWS and you should understand, um, a, you, you should have a, a certain breadth of knowledge and that will take time to learn. But uh, it's a very lucrative career and uh, you know there's plenty of opportunities. But in my opinion, if you're in the US, uh, this is probably the fastest way to get your foot in the door and probably the most lucrative way, okay? As soon as you graduate college, um, three months of hard work in this area could land you a well-paying job, well over seventy, eighty thousand dollars $80,000. And uh, after two to three years, you can transition to either one of these roles, okay? Uh, so with that being said, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. You can always email me at mtiaz at uh, jobreadyprogrammer.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.